Hey guys, the objectives for this video are to revise the no-slip condition and to discuss boundary layers and their parameters. So we talked um, a couple of topics ago about the no-slip condition and that's essentially that at a body the velocity of our fluid is going to be equal to zero. Now actually as we move away from our fluid um, the fluid is still affected and that's due to the viscous effects of our fluid where it's initially stationary and we have some gradient um, occurring where the velocity is changing and changing until it gets back to the uh, uniform velocity of the flow before we got to our object. So we essentially um, have what's called a boundary layer. And the boundary layer is essentially the region that's adjacent to the body at which the fluid velocity is below the uniform velocity. So essentially what happens is around this body here, we're going to have some region here where inside of this region, we're going to have velocities that are going to be lower than, lower than the velocity of the uniform flow, and they're going to be zero um, at, this, at this layer here. Um, so moving on from this, um, when we change the Reynolds number, we also get different sizes for um, our boundary layers. So as we increase our Reynolds number, well, we expect to get thinner um, thickness of our boundary layer. And the thickness of our boundary uh, layer is denoted by this symbol um, delta here. Also behind um, our, um, our uh, behind our object, we also get what's called the wake region, and that's where viscous effects um, are quite.